What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on the streets of Thunder Junction. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. More Thunder Junction. Let's go into our pick one, pack one. We've opened Annie, joins up. One of the few, like, playable joins up enchantments, though not very good still. Four mana for five damage, especially along three colors is not where you want to be. <sighs> We keep getting the stupid blue-white flash decks in these YouTube videos, and they keep getting wrecked. And I don't think because the deck is bad or anything. I think we've just ran into some unfortunate luck. But I'm going to avoid that this time. I'm going to first pick the Patient Naturalist. This is one of my favorite green commons, especially if you can get the Sultai deck going on. This is just a huge uh, value machine. It's a decent body for three mana, and it's always going to get you a little bit of... Um, value at whether a land or a treasure so easy pick there for me molten duplication not a very good card constructed for sure one last job is quite nice in the green white vehicle deck or not vehicle mount deck sphinx is always just a good one sure shots fantastic we probably have to go with one of these uncommons here I think you could go any direction and have a good time. I haven't played much with one last job, so I kind of want to take that, but I guess at the end of the day, returning two creatures from your graveyard for like six mana is whatever. I just passed a bunch of the blue-white stuff, so I'm going to take the sure shot here. Back for more. That is one of my favorite uncommons of the format. I'll probably take that. Good value there with the patient naturalist already. There's a trained Erynx for one of the better uh, mounts. Scorching Shot would be a totally respectable pick if you wanted to just latch into red-green immediately. But I'd rather lean into the graveyard deck, so we might get punished here, but I'm going to take the back for more. It's, if nothing else, it's still splashable by itself. Okay, some solid cards overall. Again, could just take an okay red removal spell, but... I think I'd rather take one of these green cards or even the Treasure Dredger. Even the Mirage Mesa is not a bad pickup. I'm usually pretty happy with the Free Strider Commando. 3-3 three, three for 3 or you plot it for 4 and it turns into a 5-5 five, is never bad. But I'm going to take the 2-mana Treasure Dredger here. Again, I'm kind of going to lean towards... Uh, the Sultai plan, and yeah, I'll take another one. Plus, now with two treasure treasures, it's not too hard to splash anything. Though I can't say this pack is particularly good. Uh, Assassin is okay, but it's not my favorite card. What really makes it playable, I think, is they'll added lifelink. Jagged Barons, that's pretty solid if we end up splashing red, or even just as a random desert for, like, the desert's dews and stuff. Could also take the Eroded Canyon as a similar pickup. I don't mind the Mind Rot. Duelist is also okay. I feel like the land is going to have a higher upside long term, though. I like Return the Favor as well, but maybe not here. I don't think we're going to be playing any of the cards in this particular pack. This is a this is a very mid start. We didn't get a bomb, uh, and we have some okay cards, but not really a true plan, I would say. I mean, I know what I want to be doing, the graveyard theme, but if it's not open, it might not be wise to try to kind of soft force it like I am. One thing I haven't done in this format yet that I, that I kind of want to do is like take all the fixing early in pack one, especially, and then in packs like two and three, just take the best card out of every single pack and see if you can go like a five color nonsense. I think you'd still want to be baseline green uh, in that scenario. Because green has a lot of the good fixing, of course, but 
I don't think pulling off a five color deck is at all unreasonable. Skullduggery is a good trick. Denial's not bad. Prefer not to have a deputy, especially since we have a bunch of things that make mana already. Okay, a couple of deserts here. Not bad, not bad. We don't need the blue-white one, obviously. And we're probably unlikely to be running that blue-red one. That is kind of surprising. Okay. Commando came back. Snakeskin Veil also came back. Or we could just take the 40 gems. What is the wording on this? If it wasn't cast or no mana was spent to cast it. So it's that's really good with Back for More. It's a 5-5 five, five, um, with Back for More. Wait, are those? Are those, are those weird guns? <laughs> Whenever a legendary creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. You would need to have a decent number of legendary creatures to want to play with this because the death touch counter on each creature you control is generally not going to be super relevant. Wow, that is a nice, nice green-black set of cards, huh? So Crime Punishment is bad, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not good enough, but Carevex amazing, Trailblazer's great, Accident's good, Bristles, uh, Hard Bristle Band is fantastic. Gotta go with the care back here. This is just a lot of value. Into a Cactarantula or a Buried in the Garden. Yep, Big Spider's good. Another Cactarantula or Consuming Ashes now. I guess Consuming Ashes when I have Caravex just better, isn't it? So now the off-color deserts also have a little bit more value with the Caravex, right? Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target black card from your graveyard and copy it. You can cast the copy. So remember, you do have to have the mana. It's not just casting it for free. Oh, there's another set of really good pickups. Rictus Robber, Tiny Bones is really fun, though not actually that good, I would say. It's like decent, but you're never expecting to get the free hit off of this thing, right? I kind of want to just take it because it's fun, but Patient Naturalist is probably better, generally. Though currently I only do have one. Uh, no, that's not true. Karavik itself is another way to, yeah, I think we take the Naturalist here. If you took Tiny Bones, I don't think that would be necessarily wrong, but I think the Naturalist is much better overall. Oh, I will say, had I taken the Tiny Bones, we would then have two legendary creatures for the Vraska joins up since we already have the Karavek. I think I take the Paladin here over Ashes or Plunder. This card is just so good. Green has so many good commons, it's actually kind of crazy. Paladin's nuts, Naturalist is nuts, um, Fall Off the Saddle's nuts, Snakeskin Veil's nuts. What else? It's just really good that uh, green has actually become a good playable color in Limited once again. Oh yeah, Cactarantula is great. Yeah, maybe I wheel Tiny Bones. Mm, unlikely, I guess it's a mythic. Unscrupulous Agent, or whatever it's called. Contractor's good. What are we looking for? I need more Graveyard Recursion. Tumbleweed Rising. How many big creatures do I have for that right now? Tarantula and Paladin? I guess Commando. Yeah, that's good enough. Raven doesn't look terrible here, but that's more of a blue-black card, I feel like. Nice, Festering Gulch. Wow, eighth pick for us. Beautiful. E-E-A-U-tiful. Did 
Okay, kind of crazy the uh, unfortunate accident wheeling out of our initial pack here. Yeah, this is green, black, good stuff. It might even be worth it to splash the sure shot. Could splash salvo with it. Probably don't need to though, right? Although it's a cheap crime for Karavik too. I don't think I'm playing another conduit pylons. We don't even know if we're splashing a second color yet. Or third, rather. This is okay with Contractor sacrificing it, but... Unlikely to be playing it. Wow, Rictus Robber also wheeling. Yeah, Black is just super open. Holy smokes. Wheeled a ton of good playables there. And then in pack three, what do we find? Commandeer. So we opened another unfortunate accident and an intimidation campaign. Another naturalist, Stitcher. Let me double check my ways to uh, trigger the campaign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man. I'm such a sucker for intimidation campaign. The card is so good. And the fact that I wield the last unfortunate accident, I think I'm okay taking it. Entertainer versus another pally. Let's go with pally number two. Ash saying another plunder, but that might wheel as well. Remember, black is just extremely open. I need some desert dews. That's what I'm missing right now. And maybe like one more graveyard recursion effect. We do have Karavik and back for more now, but Badlands Revival would be sick. Um, ooh, Splash Roxanne. There it is. There's a red splash. Okay. I would much pl rather play Roxanne than uh, Campaign, although it's possible I end up playing both. I lose out on a Servant of the Stinger here, another Plunder, Mirage Mesa. That's a nice one. ETB or Attacks, you get the Meteorite. I need to get a snakeskin veil too. Oh man, Roxanne is another legendary. Jolene on the splash now as well? Okay, well, all of a sudden red is gonna become a little bit more tempting. I'm I'm completely debating running this. Totally debating running this. We're at three legendaries. It's actually kind of insane with Jolene. Jolene with Death Touch, ping any creature, kill it. Where are the bandits? Need some hard bristle bandits up in here. Lots of good red white. So we're moving into pick six. Yeah, I need to get one or two more. One or two more fixers would be good. Any Jund land would be nuts. And then another removal spell or two would be good. Ah, that's not the one we're looking for. I think I take the binding negotiation over entertainer. I, I am really, really fond of the discard effects. Entertainer's also pretty nice, but yeah. In lieu of removal, binding negotiation will work. <sighs> Another raven, maybe? How did we not see a mourner's creature bring back card? Eighth pick, giant beaver. I might want to take the Conduit Pylon here. We have enough playables, and I didn't get another Jund land, so... Like I said, the Unfortunate Accident Wheeling is kind of sick, too. I mean, this deck is good. So, can probably cut the Skullduggery. 
fake your own death. I don't know if this is actually much of a Raven deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, the Raven's not bad. It just doesn't feel correct necessarily. Like maybe the Salvo on the Splash is slightly better. Just go like that. And huge temptation to still run the uh, eroded canyon. Eh, am I really splashing for Thunder Salvo? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just play another Vault Plunder. Oh, Map the Frontier could be okay too. But no. Did not get enough of the graveyard recursion, damn it. Fake your own death doesn't count, because if we're milling the creature... I mean, I guess I don't have that much self-mill. It's a lot of three drops. Ugh. Maybe the Rooftop Assassin's not as good as just running Skullduggery here. We already have a bunch of hard removal spells, so I think that probably makes sense. That would be five, six, seven, eight, nine-ish black sources, six, seven, eight, nine-ish green, one, two, three, four, five-ish red, just in land. Feels like with this deck we can go higher in black and lower in green, though. We don't have a green play until turn three, really, so we have a bunch of double black stuff. All right, looks good. Let's submit this. Go to round one. All right, let's go off to round one with this nonsense. <sighs> on the draw. I think this is a fine hand on the draw. I just need one land. Perfect. For the uh, Vault of Plunder. Oh, that's a nice hit as well, since our opponent especially didn't do anything on turn two. Abzan, huh? What's the long-term fear here? Probably Rise of the Varmints. I think we care about those particularly. Them ripping Wily Duke off the top is insane. Ah, uh, seriously? Alright, well, if we draw a land here, we can Consuming Ashes. The other play was just to go with Jagged Barons. And more guarantee that I'd be able to consume next turn, but... This gets something on the board as well. Man, the Wily Duke off the top. Brutal, okay. I'm going to plot the Tumbleweed Rising then. Ah, that sucks so bad. Always hurts when uh, you do a discard effect on the opponent and then they immediately rip something better, you know? But it is what it is here. Pretty far behind. They've already drawn two extra cards off of the the Duke. So sick. We really have have to hope they don't have a snakeskin veil that they drew as well. Because we can stabilize. I mean, Paladin into Tumbleweed Rising makes a 5-4, a 5-5, five, five, and it gains 3 life, so. Not the end of the world. Is that better than just 
killing their... Duke? I think I just have to get rid of the Duke this turn. And we're going to do this on upkeep, because they only have one green mana. So if they do have a snakeskin veil, make them tap out of the veil right now. Alright. Let's see... I feel like we just double bin those, especially with back for more. Again, we are a little bit behind here, but... All right, big horn, saddle it. Probably take the trade, because we don't want them to be able to sack that 2-1 to the, uh... ...to the Lawbringer in the coming turns. Oh, it's an uphill battle. Yep. There's the journey. Thankfully, the Lawbringer says sacrifice another creature. You can't sacrifice itself. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sometimes your opponent has it all. We don't have anything big to back for more here either. So I guess I'm going to go Jolene Pass and hope they have nothing. <laughs> well, that'll do it. They get to grab an untapped land and then Lawbringer for lethal. Ah, brutal. Man, that... What can you do? We drew Binding on turn two, which was fantastic. Looked at their hand. We took the one relevant card, basically, and then they drew Wily Duke and uh, Pain. My punish? Well, I, the only thing I could have seen doing differently is playing the Jagged Barons on turn three instead, and that would more guarantee that I could just deal with the Duke immediately, but then they still have the Beaver right after that, so. Punished, and then, yeah. Jeez. Ugh. Well, good rip. Good rip. Good beats. There's a nice looking hand for sure. Starting the game at 18. We would almost rather not... Oh my god, they have Jasper. Dude, this is so brutal. I don't have a removal spell for that, so it's just going to win the game, basically. There goes one removal spell for it. Oh my god. They hit a two mana 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> uh, this is so bad, dude. Pretty frustrating. The natural five color over there from the opponent as well. I mean, what can you do? <sighs> Land and a six drop back for more. Well, at least they can't get any value out of that this turn. If 
But I mean, if I don't draw a removal spell, the, the Jasper just kills us, so. What a card. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can kill it next turn, can't we? The Sure Shot gives Roxanne haste. Okay. No, no, no. We're not dead yet. This is actually winnable, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go Roxanne, shoot the laughing... They're going to double block. I think we kill the pinger here. Okay. So maybe there's still a chance. And the extra two uh, meteorites we got for extra mana is fantastic. Okay, so they need another colored mana here, apparently. Oh, sure. That would have been nice a little while ago. Um, two, four, six, seven mana. So let's lead off on plunder and see if we draw a land to cast one of my five drops. If we don't, we can just uh, plot the commando. I think we're supposed to play a little bit conservatively now. They have reanimate. They keep looking at both graveyards. Lazav, that's what it is. Okay. So they can copy a creature this turn if they want to, although I don't know how good that is. I'm in a contractor. There we go. Some removal. Say go. Pulse. Okay. Let's go for this right now. What I have a feeling that we're gonna get like crackle with powered or villainous wealth. Just a Bonnie, sure. Alright, so they get to attack, draw a card, put a land on the battlefield from their graveyard as well. Well, they're five color good stuff and they've drawn their colors correctly, so not much to really say about this. This is, again, just pretty freaking unfortunate, I feel like. I guess I'm just going to exile this right now.
getting back their Jasper, yep. How much more removal do I have in my deck? Let's see. I have a Jolene, which doesn't work, and a Kervik, if I can find a way to target, but I don't have many ways to target, so. All right, well, I guess I lose. Jeez. <laughs> These have been some really unfortunate losses. Like, hmm, not much to be said. Bonnie Paul, double flint. I don't even remember how we lost the first one, but. 0-2, which, yikes. I don't know why. The, the last four or five days on my YouTube videos, I cannot get anything going for some reason. Ay, ay, ay. It just feels miserable. All right, this hand's playable. Don't need to scry yet. Let's just get the tap land going. That would have been great on turn two, but we need to find another land still. The lookout, that's good. All right, I mean, come on. Find a land, please. Land next turn, then, please. Oh my god, the railway brawler. <sighs> Good news is, I can actually hit that off of the binding negotiation. <laughs> Another Bonnie Paul deck! What is going on? Holy crap, this is... <laughs> this is insane. And they're going to gain haste off of the sure shot too, potentially. Yeah, because I didn't hit another black source untapped. Oh my god, dude. So, my only hope here is that they don't have a land. I was thinking about holding the Gulch, but I need to play out the Black Source, because Kervik into Gulch would have enabled the, uh, man, would have enabled the, um, what do you call it? This is so stupid. Would have enabled the crime on the Kervec to take it from their hand. So how do I win here? Maybe I just don't. Let's see. They have a stop cold in their hand too, you know. Railway Brawler into Bonnie Paul, huh? No, I don't think there's anything we can do. We don't have a great double block at all. If I double block here, I take 2, 9, plus 7. That doesn't work. They all have trample because of the sure shot. Back for more. On Jolene, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, those were some of the most miserable games I've played in this format. I think the format's still great, but we just got kind of rolled by absurdity. And, you know, I guess this is a nice one to upload just to see how crazy, uh, crazy the games were. Because, like, we, we looked at our... Both times, it was binding negotiation. See things that are okay for the most part, and then, you know, they draw what they need. So it, it kind of just feels really, really bad. But, yeah, what can you do?
sometimes it doesn't come together. I think this deck was cool. We got rolled by bombs, 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 and uh, hot draws. So GG's. I'm a little bit salty, but that's magic, baby. See you back next time. Bye-bye.